Good morning everyone, welcome back to another video and welcome to part two of places you need to see on the Isle of Man. So up here this morning, on Douglas Head, just on a bit of grass tracking down the hill. But for good reason, because I wanted to give you the best view possible of the bay and not only the Manan here in the background, but a boat here that's arrived on the Isle of Man in the last week. The largest sail assisted motor yacht in the world apparently. And the tallest mast there is over 100 meters high, so it doesn't actually look that big from here, but yeah, it's a massive yacht out there. Worth over 500 million dollars apparently, owned by a Russian millionaire. Maybe I'll get invited later in the week after she's vlog. This is the first little stop on uh, the trip down south today to show you some of the island's landmarks. So yeah, we're gonna head back up from here, Douglas Head, and onto the first one very shortly. So we're up here on a first spot, up on Marine Drive, beautiful scenic road along the side here. Used to be used as a railway back in the 1890s I believe and uh, yeah it's still pretty stunning up here today as you can see behind me. The view from Douglas Head all the way over to the cliffs of Port Sodrick which used to be a very popular tourist destination back in the Victorian times. So with views like that across the east coast there and out to sea, it's no surprise that Marine Drive was such a popular destination and still is for many walkers and cyclists because uh, yeah, that's what you get and on a day like today, it's absolutely beautiful. Now the next stop here down on the south of the island is here on Fort Island, probably named Fort Island because of this thing behind us but yeah. Had a lovely ride right down the coast here and uh, yeah another stunning view on the Isle of Man. We've got a wild bike rider. <laughs> you, is that your house is it? <laughs> On the way back from Fort Island over there, actually passing Castletown Golf Links here, which is apparently one of the uh, best golf courses in the UK, I think ranked in the top 50. So, if you're into golf, definitely a good spot to come. So, leading on from Fort Island, there, we're now here at Castletown. Castle Russian here behind me, built in the 10th century, I believe one of the oldest castles on the island, apart from one we're going to later in the ride. But yeah, built from limestone, still pretty impressive today. Castle Town there, we've come up our first pretty steep climb of the day, up the Howe Road, heading over towards the uh, most southern tip of the island, down at the Sound and the Carver Man. But first, we're going to be stopping off at one of the oldest villages on the Isle of Man, up here at Craig Niche. I wonder if people were a bit smaller back in the day. So after a brief rain shower there, we've arrived at Craig Niche. And this is actually a living village now that you can come and visit. Uh, but it's a pretty much a demonstration of how the old Manxies used to live in the uh, 19th and 20th century. It was uh, yeah, just a little community here and did all the farming and crafting themselves. I think the last time I was up here was on a school trip back in uh, however many years ago that was. But yeah, it's a nice little look back in time. And uh, yeah, this is actually apparently where the last native speakers of the Manx language live as well so yeah very interesting and uh, worth a look into some Manx history here but we're gonna head down you can just see it through the cottages there 
head down to the car for man in the sound now. So time for a fast descent and we'll see you down there. So we've come down to the most southern tip of the island here now at the sound behind me. Dead end road as well, so we've got to go back up that steep climb we've just come down, but yeah, the views are definitely worth it. Car for man over there, which is uh, taken over as a bird observatory in 2006 and is now uh, yeah, just a complete nature reserve really. And yeah, there's lots of wildlife down here. There's actually some seals down in the water as well. And if you really want to, uh, challenge yourself in those waters you can get a boat trip across to the to the calf in the summer months i think so yeah if you ever want to go over there for a look and observe some birds then uh, head over to port Erin and you can uh, get over there on a rocky boat ride seem to be doing a lot of grass tracking today to to get the best view for you guys so you may have already spotted my riding partner out here on the southern tour today Here's Sam. Morning, morning. First time on the vlog. One of my good mates here on the Isle of Man. Regular uh, coffee stop enthusiast. I think that's the only reason he's come out today. So I'm sure he wouldn't be riding up and down a dead end road for no reason. Gotta do off hills. Off hill for off hills. <laughs> so how you doing, mate? Oh, very well, how are you? Yeah, not too bad. Anyway, he's out on the race machine today. White shoes, white helmet, white shades. You got the style on point anyway. <laughs> we panicked there because it started to rain. Sam's got his brand new white S Funk shoes out. No overshoes. We don't like mud stains. We're gonna head back up the hill. Here now. Sam's probably gonna press on a little bit. Taking it easy today. over the hill there that's actually where Nigel Mansell used to live Formula One world champion not sure he lives there anymore but yeah hell of a house come over from Port Aaron now over Brad ahead and we're just coming to a little hidden gem here in the south of the island down at Fleshwick Bay another dead end road but uh, definitely worth the trip down here for the stunning view at the bottom here. Think of that view, fella. Oh, <laughs> not great today, to be fair. Oh, we're just cursing it because all these dead end roads are coming down to see these lovely views. Here we go back up. These lovely bergs on the way back up, so back up another steep one and we're heading up the biggest climb of the day now up to one of my favorite views of the island and you see why at the top because you can pretty much see the whole south of the island from the top of the slock so I'm gonna get myself up this climb and I'll see you up there coming up to the top of the slock now about two hours into the ride beautiful views behind me there this is probably one of my favourite views on the Isle of Man. I'm just going to stop to show you here. But, uh, you can almost see all the places we've been today. So Fort Island just over there. And then we come right along down along the seaside, up the top, over to the Carpet Man. Flashwick's hidden a little bit behind this hill, but then we come up this climb. And yeah, beautiful view from the top here. Just going to ride over the top now down towards the round table, taking a left down to Dolby and Glen May. But before we get to Glen May, we are making a little stop at the Arvel, taking the views there. If you want to check out the route that I've done today, I'll be posting it on Strava after the ride, so I'll pop a link to that in the description below so you can check that out. And if you're ever on the Isle of Man and you want to ride it for yourself, then be my guest. I'm just getting over the top now, so I'll see you on the other side. Jubbly. Those threshold efforts you do up there, mate. <laughs> so 
So here we are down at Niarbal. Beautiful views of the south of the island behind me. One last steep dead end road to climb up, but yeah, definitely worth a view. And as you can see, Clatham Man behind me. See right along the coast, Fleshwick Bay, and all the way up. It's just stunning, beautiful views out to sea as well. But definitely worth a visit down here if you want uh, to experience these beautiful views for yourself. But yeah, on to the next one and one of the last locations for the day over in Peel. We've had a bit of a disaster here heading into Peel. Sambo's had a blowout. Do you need a hand, mate? Here you go. <laughs> Just help. Good change, that, mate. Minute and a half. Push, push. So you want to go if you want the finest Manx kippers on the aisle? Just like Monaco, this. Oh yeah. <laughs> We've arrived here in Peel, otherwise known as Sunset City by some locals, but a uh, beautiful little spot here at Fenella Beach. I'm going to do a lap of the castle and then head over for some chips, I think. Peel Castle, as you can see, is by far the largest castle on the island. Built similar time frame as uh, Castle Russian back in the 11th, 12th century. But um, yeah, it's a beautiful little spot down here in Peel. So that's the last stop done on today's ride. But we couldn't leave Peel without stopping some chips. Just got ourselves some chips, cheese and gravy to get home. So that's the last spot ticked off for today here in Peel. Just enjoyed the chips, cheese and gravy there. Manx national dish. If you've never tried it, you definitely need to. I'm feeling a little bit bloated now, but yeah, should be all right to get home. Well fueled. And uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's tour of the south of the island. I hope I brought you all the shots that you wanted to see today and uh, yeah, more of our beautiful island. And uh, yeah, if you want to see any more of the island, then let me know in the comments below. Let me know your favourite location in the comments below as well, that would be good to hear. If you did enjoy the video, please do like and subscribe to the channel. It's very much appreciated. I'll see you next week. Cheers.